Josh. All right, let's start out with this with temperatures this Wednesday morning. Sitting in the upper 60s and Prospect in Middletown will take that at 69 degrees, 70. Jeff Shively as well as St. Matthews, J-Town and Fern Creek. You're a little bit on the higher side, but a little more comfortable this morning in Valley Station at 72, courtesy of lower humidity across the area. Now, 77 downtown, that's the official temperature at Ali International, but it's by far the warmest on the board. We have a good mixture of upper 60s and low 70s and a couple of spots cooler than that. Campbellsville and Frankfurt, the coolest this morning at 66. A little more of a refreshing, pleasant start after the past couple of very hot and humid days. Now, we're still going to have the heat. We're going to have tons of sunshine, just a few passing clouds in our skies today. And like yesterday, temperatures are going to ramp up into the mid-90s. We'll be 89 midday, 95 for an afternoon high. So no doubt it is going to be hot. But in terms of what it feels like on our body with the lower humidity, It'll feel like it's about five or six degrees cooler than yesterday, even though on the thermometer it's going to be reading the same temperature. Now the humidity does return. It's going to be a warm, muggier evening. 88 degrees by 10 o'clock and the real tropical humidity settles in overnight and into the late week time frame. And I want you to notice the heat that's parked immediately out to our west from the Mississippi River, from Minneapolis, St. Louis, down to Memphis and New Orleans. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s right now. So that's the real peak of the heat and humidity with this heat wave that we've been dealing with. That's going to move our way for tomorrow and Friday. Look at those highs, 97 tomorrow, 99 on Friday. Both of these days could feel like it's closer to 110 degrees with the high humidity and not much relief at night too with lows upper 70s to near 80 degrees. So at the very least today, let's enjoy the lower humidity. Now as we move into Saturday, Friday night into Saturday, can't rule out a spotty shower or two. Those are going to be isolated in nature, so rain chances don't look overly high high, but it does come with a front that knocks our temperatures into the upper 80s and closer to normal Sunday into early next week. We'll definitely look forward to some of that cooler, more seasonable air ahead.